Okay, you guys, today we are going to be talking about solving inequalities. We're going to be talking about solving more than one step inequalities. And you are going to follow the same steps as equations. So we were talking about equations for the past two weeks, and now we're going to continue using that when we talk about inequalities. So we're going to follow those same steps. There are going to be a couple things that we need to look for. So I am going to write the one rule that's different, and that is we flip the inequality symbol when we multiply or divide by a negative. And I will point out when we're using that rule as we move on, but that is the only difference because now we have a greater than and less than symbol, whereas before we just had an equal sign. You can't really flip an equal sign. <laughs> so let's look at some examples. So if I give you 9c plus 1 e uh, is greater than or equal to 10. So first step, I'm going to save my variable for last. It's not one of the two special ones. So I have a plus 1. I'm subtracting 1 from both sides. Cancel that. 10 minus 1 makes 9. I'm going to bring down what's left. Instead of bringing down an equal sign, I'm going to bring down my greater than or equal to and my 9c. Now, on both sides, I've got to get rid of my 9 that's beside the c, so I can see by itself. So I'm going to divide both sides by 9 since it's multiplication. I'm going to bring down c is left. To bring down my symbol just the way it is, because I did not multiply it by, by negative, 9 divided by 9 makes 1. If I were to graph this, remember, sometimes you just draw, you have to draw one out yourself, and I do the main number in the middle, 2 higher, so 2, and then 3, and then 2 lower, 0, and then negative 1. Remember that number line, when it goes to negatives, it's opposite of our positives. Negative 1 is actually the largest negative number. So I'm going to do a closed-in circle because it's an equal to, and I'm going to go to the right because my arrow is pointing to the right. Let's look at another one. So if I give you 8 is less than or equal to 3a minus 4. If you want to start pausing the video, trying it on your own, and then watching me work this out, that would be great as well. So when I look at this, I'm going to say a by itself. So I'm going to minus 4, opposite of minus 4 is plus 4. 8 plus 4 makes 12. Bring everything else down, less than or equal to, and 3a. This is multiplication, opposite of multiplication is division. So I'm going to divide both sides by 3. 12 divided by 3 makes 4. Bring down my less than or equal to and my a. Here is what we talked about in our last video. We always want our letter to come first. So when I do this, I have to flip everything. Like I'm looking in the mirror. Flip everything. So I'm going to put an A here and a 4 here. I've got to flip this from a less than to a greater than. Open side is beside my A, so open side needs to be beside my A. Over here, I'm going to do 4, 5, and 6. 3 and 2. Close circle because it's equal to symbol and going to the right. So this is important. Always want that variable first. Got to flip everything. You can't just bring it down. Okay. What if I give you m over 5 plus 9 is less than 11. Saving for last. Saving my variable for last. The first thing I have to do is subtract 9. Cancel that. Bring down everything m over 5. Bring down my less than. 11 minus 9 makes 2. This is division. Opposite of division is multiplication. So I'm going to multiply both sides by 5. Cancel that. 2 times 5 is 10. Bring down everything. When I graph this, 10, 11, 12, 9, and 8. 
open circle because there's no equal to sign and I'm going to shade to the left. Remember either way you want to shade is a okay. Let's look at another one. So I'm going to give you 1 minus 2r equals 35. Couple things here. This is like the one I just told you about when it talked about flipping the inequality when you multiply or divide by a negative. So this one is bringing in that rule. So let's look at it, because this is important. This is what we're going to be moving towards this, which are going to see that's going to try to trick you up a lot. So remember I said that this minus sign goes with that 2r. So I have to look at 1. 1 is positive. Opposite of positive is a negative. Negative is like subtraction. So even though there's a subtraction sign in my problem, I'm really going to subtract 1 from both sides, because that minus sign goes with that 2r. So. 35 minus 1 gives me 34. I'm going to bring everything else down. So my greater than or equal to, and this minus sign, I haven't used it yet, so it becomes a negative 2r. I am going to divide by negative 2 on both sides. When I do that, this negativity is going to flip going to flip this symbol. So, cancels out here. R is going to now be less than or equal to, I have to flip this because I brought a negative over. 34 divided by negative 2 makes negative 17. This would be a closed circle over negative 17 going to the left. Now here's a time where you're going to see a negative, but you don't flip. So if I give you something like um, 4 plus 2m is less than, um, we'll say, negative 28. Now, first thing I have to do, I have a positive 4, I'm going to subtract 4 from both sides. Negative 24 minus 4. Negative 28 minus 4 plus a negative gives me negative 32. Bringing everything else down. My less than and my 2m. I'm going to divide by 2 on both sides. Now some of you may ask, why am I not going to flip this? I'm dividing by a negative. I did not bring a negative over. Only when you bring a negative over are you going to flip it. So this still stays m is less than negative 32 divided by 2 makes negative 16. I do not flip for this one because I did not bring a negative over. Hopefully these examples have helped you. There will be a couple more coming up. And I will see you next time.